We get inspiration by inspiring others. This is a two-way instantaneous experience. As we inspire, we become inspired. It, it's difficult to fathom it, you know, with just our finite mind. But this thing called spirituality and human emotion is so unbelievable that, that two things can happen simultaneously at the same time. As we inspire, we become inspired. We are being taught by teaching. As we teach, we learn. Sometimes we learn what not to say because, you know, it, it, it didn't go over very well. And we just make a mental note, you know, I'm going to dispense with that. I thought it was a clever idea. It turned out that it really wasn't. But we learn, and we learn simultaneously as we teach. It's incredible. We are becoming wealthy ourselves by creating wealth. As we create wealth, we become wealthy. As we give it out, it comes to us. As we dispense it through our facilities of speech, language, spirit, emotion, eyes, handshake, contact, as we do that, from incredible sources, now it comes flowing into our life and sometimes it flows simultaneously. We are becoming wealthy by creating wealth. You can't have a much more exciting experience than that. Next I wrote down, we are changing by creating change. By helping others to change, we change ourselves. And sometimes we decide to make some changes the very same day we're trying to help someone to change for the better. We're trying to help them change their mind. We're trying to help them change their position. We're trying to help them change their plan, refine it so that it works better. And as we do that, we suddenly find ourselves changing. Now, making mental notes as we go, as I am now teaching, as I'm helping someone to change, by the way, I'm going to start making the changes. It is a powerful experience we can have with all of this happening simultaneously at the same time. Next, we progress by creating progress. We create progress for others. We get them to grow. And by helping them to grow, we grow. By helping them to succeed, we succeed. That's what happened to Mark Hughes. Immediately, he started helping people with their health. Immediately, he started helping people with their financial future. And as he helped them, his came to him. He didn't even have to concentrate on what he was getting. You know, he didn't have to zero in on, you know, what was, how much was that for me today? He could forget that. All he had to do was invest in those early distributors, invest his time, invest his energy, invest his ideas, invest his emotion, and it, it, and it just started coming. As he gave it, so he received it. That is the awesome experience. Next, we become happy by creating happiness. When we put a new pin on someone, and it creates this incredible joy for them that they finally arrived, they did the meetings, they did the classes, they did all the stuff, now they've arrived. We create this happiness for them by putting the pin on, giving them a hug and giving them our congratulations. Uh, we create happiness for them, but it simultaneously uh, raises our level of happiness to an incredible degree. We learn to see by creating sight in others. If we can help them to see, we can see. We develop our vision by inspiring vision. Um, we develop sight for someone. We develop a future for someone. And our future automatically then starts to develop and starts to grow and starts to expand as we develop vision for others. Sources of inspiration. And here's the first one. Deciding. If you just make a decision, it can be sometimes the day that starts you on a brand new journey. Now, some decisions are incidental and some are small and some, you know, are, are part of a working day. But sometimes decision-making can be one of the most important days of your life. Maybe a decision you've postponed and postponed, and now you understand the penalty of postponing that decision. You've got to do something, and finally you come to the conclusion, today is the day. I now decide. And whether you decide on a new direction, whether you decide on a refinement in philosophy, 
uh, whether you decide to act when before you haven't acted, uh, you decide on a, on, on a series of things that you're going to do, uh, you decide. Uh, deciding can be a, such an incredibly important, very exciting, inspirational day. Also, deciding sometimes starts the process of lifting our self-esteem. Sometimes when you look back on it, uh, the day that you decided was just about as exciting as the day when you finally accomplished the project. That when you finally made the decision, you finally got the monkey off your back, as we say uh, in English. You finally you know, got through whatever barriers kept you from making that decision, and finally you made a decision. And now it seems like the sky is blue and the air is clear and your mind is ready and, uh, you know, the adrenaline starts to flow, things start to happen to you uh, from that moment of decision. So that can be an incredible source of inspiration. Now, if you don't follow through, it's not going to last all that long. If you decide and then, you know, postpone and, and you decide and but you don't, still don't get to it for a week or a month or a year, you know, soon all that energy and that source of inspiration is all dissipated. So deciding is inspiring, but, but not for that long. But once you decide, it can be a very powerful day. But now, of course, you, now you must follow through. But um, if there's some things you've been postponing, uh, some decisions you have just, you know, haven't gotten to, uh, I would ask you to just, you know, take out your journal and just go through, you know, what have I been postponing that's not going to be better for my health? It's not going to be better for my future. It's not going to enhance my finances. Uh, maybe a problem needs to be solved. I got to decide when I'm going to do it and, and, and how I'm going to proceed. I need to get to it. I promise you, if you'll go through some of that list uh, and start making those decisions, your inspiration will start to flow. And those could be very critically important, exciting days. Uh, indecision is the thief of opportunity. Uh, indecision means the door is still closed. Uh, indecision means the opportunity waits. Uh, indecision means what could be is postponed or may never be. And you know, that, those are all the penalties of indecision. And sometimes we can't make a snap judgment. We can't decide immediately on something so important. But after a while, after a while, we must understand sometimes the heavy penalty of putting off our, our decision making. So one source of inspiration, deciding. Here's the next one, planning. Now that you've decided and you've started, you start making plans, it's in, incredible what can happen as a source of inspiration. When finally what's in your head, what's in your imagination, now finally starts to take shape on paper. When I first heard about network marketing, I was 25 years old and I heard some of the testimonials and I heard that people have gotten rich and I've heard that it's changed people's lives and I've heard that you could start with nothing and become something. But let me tell you what was exciting. When I finally made the decision, yes, I was going to be part of the industry. Yes, I was going to make it part of my marketing future. What was really exciting was when I sat down and started making plans. I started committing imagination and belief to paper. I started writing it down. I started, started, as we often do, drawing those circles. You know, what if I had five? What if I had ten? And then when I had a concept of what that could bring for me, then I said, how can I reach the first five? How can I reach the first ten? Uh, what could I do? Starting to make those plans, I'm telling you, I remember those days as if they were yesterday. They were so exciting. I had a concept of what I wanted. I had a dream of of what could happen for me, if it could happen for others, maybe it could happen for me. But when I started putting it on paper and started making the plans, that was an incredible source of inspiration for me. Because the plan seemed to now start making it real. That what I had thought about, what I dreamed about, now I'm actually getting to it by making a plan. However, you can make all the plans in the world and it is a source of inspiration for only so long. 
and you can make one plan and then you can make another plan and you can make some plans today and the next day you can make some more plans and the next day you can make some more plans and it is a very exciting source of inspiration but only for a while i'm sure we would all agree that making plans uh, that inspiration wouldn't last for a week and now here's a big source of inspiration beginning getting started actually turning thought and the notes on the paper, the plans, actually now committing it to action, getting started. And beginning can be an incredible source of inspiration. Guess what you can say when you begin a change in your diet? Guess what you can say? I'm on a new track. I have carved out for myself a new beginning. I'm on my way to the most incredible health. I will never be the same again. I'm leaving the old, undisciplined part of me, I'm leaving that behind. I'm a new person. I'm taking my first shake. I'm swallowing the first tablets. I made my first, you know, walk around the block that I'd thought about for so long and never did. I finally did it today. I've started, I have begun. That is an incredible source of inspiration and that is to start to begin you cannot believe what can happen to your self-esteem and many of you have already experienced it I'm just asking you to begin something new in all the areas of your life maybe you've always thought about benevolence and you just haven't gotten started or you haven't made the plans or you haven't made the decision I'm asking you to start taking that stuff now that's in your head that imagination which is very powerful and it's a great source of inspiration in itself. But then I'm asking you then to decide, use that inspiration. Then I'm asking you to make plans, begin to make plans, use that inspiration. And then if you take that first step, it can be the first step of an incredible journey. And uh, when Mark had his first meeting, when Mark recruited his first distributor, when Mark got his first customer, his grandmother using the product, when Mark got that first few yeses from people and he started the process as simple as it was, you know, from the trunk of his car, you know, as, as crude as, as the literature was in the beginning, it was a start. And so beginning can be an incredible source of inspiration. And beginning can be many things. Beginning a new commitment to learning. You say, I'm going to have a library second to none and I bought the first book of my new library today. I'm going to be surrounded by information and inspiration. Uh, the cassette tapes and the videos and the books. I'm going to have a library second to none. Uh, I've thought about it. Wouldn't it be wonderful? And, uh, you know, I've, I've started making plans. You know, I provided some space in my room for my expanded library. Uh, but here's what's exciting. I got the first book today. I've gotten started. Uh, this is just the first of many, many books. This is the first uh, of a whole flow of information for me. This is the first time. Uh, you want to learn a new skill and you sign up for a class. Let's say you want to learn accounting or something and you, you sign up for the class and you take the first class. You get started. You thought about it. You made some plans for it. You made some time for it. But there's nothing like sitting there in the class with the pen in your hand and the pad ready to take notes. Here I am. I'm starting on a new journey of learning. Now here's the next one. One of the great sources of inspiration is progressing. Once you've gotten started, now you proceed. You progress. Now you go to class the second week. You go to class the third week. But it's not only progressing in terms of time. It's progressing in terms of what you're learning, progressing in terms of getting the information uh, that you hadn't discovered before. Now you're excited about that. Progress. One of the greatest sources of inspiration is progress. When you start jogging around the block and, uh, you know, at first it's a little difficult and then it's two blocks and then you go around four or five times, but then you notice, notice you're breathing easier. Uh, you notice when you go up a flight of uh, stairs, you're not out of breath and it suddenly occurs to you in a fairly short period of time, you're making progress. 
but it isn't long. If they need some, to lose some weight, you know, a pound or two, four or five pounds, that is so incredibly exciting. You don't have to wait for 50 pounds. You don't have to wait for 100 pounds. You know, that first one, that first two or three, making progress. Having more oxygen in your lungs. You, you can tell within a short period of time, I'm making progress on my, my oxygen supply. I'm making progress on losing weight. Then when you start making progress in your business, your ability to make contacts, your ability to talk to people. Uh, being so shy, you decided one day, hey, I've had enough with being too shy. Uh, I've made the decision. I'm making some plans. I'm going to begin talking to people. And you start, and at first it's difficult. But then very quickly, and it doesn't take a year, I'm telling you, it doesn't take a month, it doesn't take a week. I promise you, even though you're a little bit shy, if you'll just start to introduce yourself, if you'll just start to talk to someone you've never talked to before, just get started. I promise you in a fairly short period of time, because two things are happening. One is deciding to overcome a liability, but also understanding that with this new skill now, with this new ability and with my progress, no telling what I can accomplish. Because if I can get over the fear of talking to one, I can get over the fear of talking to number 10, number 50, number 100. And by the time I get to number 50 and number 100, my self-confidence is going to be so strong. My self-esteem is going to be so high. My new skill is going to show such incredible progress that I will never look back on the old ways. So what an incredible source of, of inspiration progressing. I jotted this down. Unhappiness is simply the lack of progress toward a preset goal. If you're not making progress, see, that's when unhappiness sets in. But here's where happiness begins. Making progressive progress. You don't have to arrive all at once. You don't have to have it immediately. But as long as you're making progress, as long as progress is part of your experience now, it is a fantastic source of inspiration. Now here's the next one. Source of inspiration and that is achieving. When you finally have arrived at that goal that you set, I want to have this much experience and be able to do this by 30 days from now, 60 days from now, six months from now. And finally that six months passes and there you are. Finally the time passes and you have it. Finally the time passes and the skill is now beginning to be polished and it is so unique and effective. Achieving is an incredible source of inspiration. But here's what we notice. When you do achieve, whatever you set out in the beginning where you decided and planned and you got started and you progressed, when you finally achieve, that achievement is not much more inspiration than when you decided. It's a different kind of inspiration. It's a different kind of feeling uh, to having arrived, uh, knowing that you've got many other objectives to accomplish, many other places you want to go, things you want to do, uh, the person you want to become. But at least I've got this one. You know, I've done this one. I remember what, way back when I wanted to do the training and I wanted to do teaching, I would like to do seminars because I saw people that had such a magnificent effect on their audience. They used the language to such a, an unbelievable degree. I could tell that something was mixed from their heart and their soul and their mind and their vocabulary and this mixture of stuff together presented to someone's ears to hear and a heart maybe to believe and a mind to understand that the most incredible magic could occur. I thought to myself, if I could possibly do that, it would be the greatest feeling in the world. In my opinion, that's probably the most awesome impact you can have on any person or any group or any audience is the ability to communicate a message or a poem or lyrics or what you feel or what you know to communicate it uh, by music uh, and by song. Uh, to me, it is the most incredible impact that one human can have on another or have on an audience. But next to that is to be able to feel strong about some ideas and have the ability 
to put it into words, to put it into language, drive it by emotion, have it mixed with experience, you know, and all the stuff that goes on in your head and your heart and your soul and deliver it to the best of your ability, even as I'm doing today to an unseen audience. But since I can visualize the audience and where it goes from here and where it may go beyond where it reaches even at the moment, uh, that inspires me to do my best to come up with ideas uh, that will be meaningful and helpful. To me, this, this is the most incredible experience. Uh, but next to it, I'm telling you, you can have next to that the most incredible effect on someone else. Uh, without a doubt, uh, you can stir someone's imagination. Uh, you can reach that achievement. Uh, you can be there. Uh, what you've wished for and what you've dreamed for, if you will draw from the source of deciding that inspiration and the inspiration of planning, the inspiration of beginning, and the inspiration of progressing, then you will know this incredible inspiration of achieving, of finally getting there, finally being the person, finally accomplishing the goal.